Director of the Institute for Gulf Affairs, Ali Al Ahmed, in a fourth charge in Virginia. Thank you very much for joining us here on TRT World. So, um, we've been receiving different reactions from all over the world to this Middle East plan of Trump's. And, but looking at the Arab nations here, especially Qatar, United Arab Emirates and Bahrain, they all seem to be very positive about this plan. So isn't this a huge disappointment for the Palestinians? Don't they feel betrayed here? Uh, the Palestinians cannot be uh, pushed by the uh, Arab countries who welcomed it, uh, the Saudis or others. Uh, uh, this was, there was way better uh, deal for the Palestinians in 1990 with Oslo, and then again with the Obama administration, and before that with the Bush administration, and they didn't take it, and uh, nobody was able to, to make them accept it. So this is uh, way unrealistic. It is designed to fail, and I think it comes from a place of uh, sort of religious extremism on the part of those people who designed it thinking that they own this area and nobody else should should say no to them. It's uh, it's not going to work. It is going to hurt, in fact, the same people. The, the Trump administration says, say he will, he's trying to help. That is Israel and the Jewish people. This this plan is is not, uh, is a far-fetched uh, plan. It's more really laughable plan, to, to, to be frank. It's, it's, it's unreal. Okay, but why are the Arab nations in support of this plan? Uh, Trump was able to uh, basically uh, 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 intimidate uh, some Arab countries uh, because of his, his style. So the Egyptians, the Saudis uh, uh, remained silent, basically, but they didn't show up. Uh, the Qataris didn't show up to, to the White House. UAE, Bahrain, and Oman did, but uh, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, Egypt didn't show up. Uh, Jordan didn't show up. Jordan, in fact, but, criticized it. So we've been having so some looking... statements from, from authorities from those countries, even if there wasn't a showing up. We know that um, they all seem to be on the positive wire here. Um, and you said Trump intimidated some countries. Why would he do that? Yeah, I mean, that's his style. He intimidates, and these countries are susceptible to American pressure because they think that the only uh, uh, power protecting them from the people and from their neighbors, uh, like Iran, is, is the United States. And we saw the, you know, in terms of UAE and Saudi Arabia, it's very clear that they have no protection but from, from the United States. So they, they are not willing to lose that, that, that protection on behalf of the Palestinians. But at the same time, you don't see that uh, uh, rushing to support the, uh, the the Saudis and Egyptians basically to, trying to hold the stick from in the middle so they are not showing their disapproval, but they are not also uh, extremely supportive of it. So I think they're just buying time and uh, this is not go it's going nowhere. So they don't want to upset the, 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 the Americans, but they know themselves this is going nowhere and it's going nowhere. In fact, it's going to hurt uh, uh, the, the Israelis first and foremost, and Trump doesn't care about them, and he only wants the support of the uh, uh, Jewish money and Jewish po uh, power in the United States so he can go back and, and become the president uh, in the, of the United States. Well, thank you very much for that insight, Ali Al-Ahmad.